Hello again SG Beers, Companion Wolf here with another Smile Game Builder video. Last month on January the 29th, SGB was updated to version 1.12.2. So this video showcases the major features this update brought. This was going to be the direct follow-up to Tutorial 66 Advanced Variables Part 2 in preparation for the next video in the Battle series, but in light of the update it's been deferred. I generally have about three to four already mapped out, but if there's a new update then these will definitely be pushed forward. Now I am determined to get back into the routine of one tutorial per week. Now that things are starting to settle, I should be able to achieve that. If you'd like to help support me in producing these videos or my projects, you can donate via PayPal or you can support me on Subscribestar where patrons can benefit from some exclusive game content and other unique stuff. Every bit helps and is greatly appreciated and thank you for everyone who has donated and already subscribes. You can also follow me on Twitter, Facebook, the SGB Athenaeum, Discord, probably other places too, but your best bet is to follow me on Twitter because that's updated quite often, very often. And now, this video is shorter than my usual ones because it's just a features update video, but let's get straight to the updates in game data and settings we have the system graphics you can see there's a new section called battle damage numeric color um, you can change these around to any colors that you like um, now that this uh, the default for the HP damage is white but I changed it to yellow and I changed the HP recovery to a more of a darker green so these will be the font in the battles the font color in the battles while we're in game data we can also go into characters and use the commands and there is a new feature here, a new function here called same effect as skill and you can select the skill that you want from the skills tab they will all appear here so this might be useful if you wanted to create a unique skill specific to the character as an example if we wanted to use uh, raise as the skill. The command name could be something like um, necromancy which is focuses on raising someone for, from the dead and then we can also choose an appropriate icon. Uh, let me see well that one looks good or maybe we can have the grim reaper that that sort of feels a bit more appropriate because both are to do with like raising the dead or something like that okay so for uh, <coughs> for an example I'm going to create the uh, put the start point there and create an event Let's have the skeleton. Let's have the Grim Reaper again. So, what we will need to do is um, for the demo purposes, let's reduce Marie's HP by fifty and at level. One, I think that should KO her. 
So next, I'm going to place a battle. Add another slime. And that should be good. In the playtest, when we enter the battle, Marie is KO, so we can use Scion's new necromancer skill to raise her from the dead. Don't worry about this, this is part of the thing. So now, not as normal. That is it. The next one. believe would be in display and in the camera co control event you can now change the camera speed directly from here it uh, used to be in the battle settings from the game data only but now you can change it from the event itself with the same effects. It's actually very useful for cutscenes, camera angles in, in battles, other enhancements and that. In tutorial number 11 I covered controlling the camera but I think in light of this it's severely outdated so it is time for an update to the cameras including the battle cameras sometime in the near future. In the advanced variable box, there's also another entry under key input, also had an update, and you now have some extra keys for assigning camera control keys to perform certain actions based on the variables used in the same way that the other ones were used. I've covered these in numerous tutorials already. Anyway, switch viewport, uh, switch viewpoints, that would be when you press the B key where you can switch between overhead and first person. Camera rotate up and down which are the R and F ones uh, rotate left and right Q and E zoom in is C um, zoom out would be V and the camera reset would be K so when you press any of these keys you can perform an action I will do a tutorial on this a bit later something a bit better than what I described here with some examples on how you can advantageously use them. And I've been playing around with this for quite a, quite a lot and it's pretty damn cool actually. Next one would be in settings where you can now enable or disable the battle camera and then select which parts you want enabled or disabled. Now something like this um, would be very useful for a 2D side view battle or fixed camera views in battles. I won't delve into the 2D aspects as I'm not familiar with it at all, but there are some really cool techniques that you can use for the 3D battles by checking and unchecking all of these settings. I'll leave that for another tutorial. Now the final feature which is integrated into this new update 
is under miscellaneous and you will notice that it has display web browser so say for instance if we had uh, HTTPS uh, we'll do the known treasure one you can just uh, do it one time only say it'll take some time to load as you can see but it'll open up an internal browser window which will display the URL. Now bear in mind that it is a beta version so it will not be perfect. These little script errors I think is because it uses um, the Internet Explorer base which doesn't like JavaScript and this is kind of like why I absolutely hated that browser is because all of this crap was done um, but you can see it loads up fairly well if you have a simple website perhaps something created specifically for the game or something that promotes a presence online such as your Twitter account which I can quickly demonstrate do it that way and then quickly play test it again it doesn't have any problems it only has w specifically with JavaScript there are no errors but your Twitter account or any social media should be should load very quickly it is an awesome and very useful feature to have with the up with the update as well they they released at the same time um, a new DLC called type B friends with symbols this is under the ad assets and it should be under the DLC it best of all they released it free so we can add all of the assets there are 18 characters, 18 new characters to play with. So, uh, just for the purposes of this, we can change it uh, to that. And it will be under here. Um, here. They have various ones. Really, really cool. But it also has some some markers as well. So let's have a look at some of these animations because there are quite a number new ones oh right so the default ones um, there take phone <laughs> and most of these actually have the same the same thing I guess that one would be take the phone and then hand in pocket is pretty cool
anyway that that is it you have some new ones and if you wanted to I think these are good supplements for the G style modern resource pack I'm going to end this video here for now bearing in mind that I've added more tutorials to the list which I'll implement in future videos in the tutorials suggestions channel in SGB discord I've marked which suggestions are planned for which tutorials and when they're done I'll put the tutorial number that they're included in there as well this is more for reference and convenience than anything else for me and for anybody who wants to see that their suggestions have been put in tutorials or at least they can anticipate which tutorials anyway the next tutorial will be the advanced variables uh, part three focusing specifically on the trigger variables and after that we'll continue with the battle stuff delving a little bit more into the battle events specifically now a quick note I will not be creating a custom battle system yet it'll take a lot of time and effort to create we still need to go through those steps to build up to that point because you know it's pointless creating creating an ABS if you can't have any variables that reference things like HP anyway in the meantime if you have suggestions please leave them in the comments here or in the tutorials suggestions channel in discord that I mentioned previously and also subscribe hit the bell icon to be notified of when I upload new videos uh, your best bet watch my Twitter account for any updates all of the links to my accounts usual accounts will be in the description below that's it for now thanks for watching and until the next time